Well, Indiana is now rolling out the welcome mat to firing Chicago police officers who didn't get those required COVID vaccine shots. That's right. So they don't have a job and right. maybe they need one here in Indiana. Emily Longnecker on the senator's invite and the need to fill vacant law enforcement jobs statewide. Welcome to Indiana. That's the message from Indiana Republican Senator Mike Braun to Chicago police officers who are refusing to comply with the city's vaccine mandate and could be out of a job because of it. If we get to the point where you can start mandating this kind of stuff, uh, be careful what happens down the road. Braun thinks you shouldn't have to get the COVID vaccine if you don't want to and says Chicago police officers faced with getting fired if they don't comply with their city's vaccine mandate for all city employees are welcome to apply for jobs across the border in Indiana. You've got police departments up in the region, uh, Merrillville, Cherville, that are putting the welcome sign out to Chicago Police Department. This week, Chicago's police superintendent David Brown said 21 officers have been placed on no pay status for refusing to comply with the city's order. In Indiana, vaccine mandates for state and city employees haven't been an issue. Earlier this year, the state's General Assembly passed a law banning state and local governments from issuing or requiring a vaccine passport for COVID-19. Rick Snyder, Indianapolis FOP President 86, declined to comment on Braun's invitation to Chicago officers, but said at least 39 agencies in Indiana are hiring. IMPD alone has 168 open positions. We welcome all qualified persons who want to serve our city and its citizens with integrity, said IMPD Assistant Chief Christopher Bailey, telling 13 News the department started recruiting laterally this summer, which means recruiting men and women who are currently officers in other departments, both in and out of state. So far this year, COVID is the number one cause of in the line of duty deaths for officers across the country. The officers down Memorial page lists 371 in the line of duty deaths as of October 20th. 238 of those deaths are linked to officers getting COVID while they're on duty.